everyone welcome to my channel today I want to share um, a junk journal that I just finished and it's a nature junk journal and it's it's very it's very large very big and um, I made um, supposed to look like vintage for closure, I'm using this piece of fabric that I had it and I thought that it matches with the cover. I didn't want to attach something um, because um, I don't like that you have to, to have a, something like a string that you attach it or a piece of sari or whatever it is attach it all the time. So. Um, I'm just using the fabric and you can close it and if you don't want to use it, you don't need to use it. So for the cover, um, I'm, uh, I used a book to make this and it's American Garden, American Garden Heritage or something like that. And I used the, the front and the back, but I had to make another spine because I wanted a larger spine. So I made the spine and I covered with a vintage fabric that I had. And um, I used one of my uh, watercolors that I made. So this is mine, you can see. And I made um, a few years ago, actually like 20 years ago. And I just printed and um, I put it some um, cheesecloth on the back and a little piece of um, um, scrapbook paper. So this is the cover and the size is nine inches by a little bit more of seven inches. And the spine, the spine is three inches. So it's, it's a big book. So when you open, there are four signatures and 112 pages front and back. And it's a mix of my file folders that I like to make with a journal. So um, that's, that's why there's no more pages. That's the only reason it's because the, the, I have some little folders that I use it in the beginning of the signatures and they are thick so I couldn't fit more pages but there's plenty of pages for you to write. So at the front there's a pocket here and lace decoration and be careful with this pocket because it's not supposed to be like a bulky pocket that you can put a lot of things. I didn't want to make the book even, you know, bulkier than it is right now, but you have space to, you know, to add um, things that you want to add and you can also uh, remove any pages if you don't want or remove any um, journaling card or tag. And so let me show you. This is the first signature. There's a lot of laces and stitches. I stitch it a lot. And there is a tag. I made a tag here. Then there is a tag, a long tag here. Then two little tags here and this uh, I use it two of the Edith Holden books to make this um, journal and this is the first page of one of them I don't know which one is if it's the country diary of um, the nature notes but this is the first page we draw from my library so it was on sale there, for sale there, so I, I purchased. And this is the first page 
and with the two pockets using the original page of the book. You turn and made a, a fold, a flap, so you can write it down here. And there's my journaling card using, um, this is a vintage book page and they're all of them there's places for you to write in the back and they're all um, with tea dyed paper most of them or any other paper that i think it will match it and looks vintage this is um a tea dyed paper i made with a beautiful imprint from a doily two doilies and a page for you to write this is a um, book about plants, a page of a French dictionary, and it was very old, but I reinforced it with washi tape. This is another vintage um, flower book. Actually, it's a garden book. Here's for you to write. Um, this I made a little collage and I use it um, vintage tape it was inside a book inside of one of the library books that I purchased and it was uh, a little piece of tape so I use it here and this is a beautiful small book that I have about birds it's not that bird guide feed back that I, I have that one no it's another book I forgot the name but it's a beautiful bird book that I have with beautiful images and a butterfly page from a book this is a vintage dictionary page and this is some decoration and this is the center of the signature and I made um, two tags that they go inside this uh, glassing, those two glassing bags and if you want to remove the you can remove if there's a knot and it's double um, or triple knotted and I also stitched the knot so it's very very secure very safe if you don't want this you can just remove it if you like it I mean cut it and leave the original knot that I made if you want to remove the bow and leave just the, the knot this is um, a page that I tea dyed um, I added a little butterfly charm I don't know if you can see but there's a little butterfly charm here the dictionary page the beautiful butterfly insect book this is a flip you can write here and write here the other side of the little bird book the flower book the French dictionary plant no places for you to write this is a tuck spot I made with a stamp and um, I'm adding some little pieces of uh, paper stamped paper here and you can decorate the journal you can use it to decorate if you want and this is a beautiful image black and white from another book and here it's a flip that I made using a page from the Edith Houghton book. And there are some pages, some little, it's a little notepad that you can use the pages. And this is a beautiful paper that my daughter brought from me from one of her trips. And I use it as a page. And here is another flip 
it's an envelope and I made a journaling card and you can also write here the places and also it's um, it's a tuck spot it's a little tuck spot if you want to use as a tuck spot you don't have to you can use it just as a decoration so this is um, the last page of the first signature and I made two lovely little tags here love this page and then the second signature and here it's a rope plate about roses and then I added a pocket a vellum pocket and I have some die cuts for you to use to decorate the book and here it's a pocket I hope you guys can see everything. Um, another tea dye doll, doily page. Um, a little decoration I made. Here it's a slip. This is from, um, it's a plate from a book, I don't remember which book. And here is from a rose book. And I made a pocket with a journaling card with some collage and this is a dictionary page this is from a calligraphy book page from there and I made a little pocket um, using vellum and inside there are stickers there are some stickers for you to to use. And this is a beautiful um, insect insect encyclopedia that I have. Vintage and it's pretty. It's all like you know the you can see the age in the round the page. Here it's a little book about flowers. And I made this little envelope using this paper that also my daughter brought from me from her trips. And it's, I didn't want to glue it because, you know, it's fragile, but you can use it if you want. You can glue it or you can just leave it with the pin. I mean, the what's the name of this? I completely forgot. Sorry, guys. Um, another flower, vintage flower book page, and this is the first page from this flower book. I use the first page as the back, so you can write here if you want. And this is the center of the second signature. So I made two pockets with vellum and laces and if you want to remove this vellum page you can but I thought it would be beautiful and it's transparent so you can see the, the pockets. There is the other journaling card. The other side and this is the book. Um, plate that I cut it and decorated. Another one page, very thin paper for you to write, to scan. And this is actually um, a handmade paper that I made and I use it a piece here. So you can write. This is a slip. You can write here and collage using napkins and a label 
Mm, I did fall of page. The calligraphy book. Dictionary. The other side of the clothes book. This is that paper. I made a page out of it. I thought it was so pretty, so delicate. And this is a huge belly band that I made. I made a collage belly band with this pretty mouth. And I just added this piece of ephemera for you to write. And I'm also including this um, seed envelope and I made a collage and I'm adding this and there is another pocket here with um, a tag or a journaling card here is a window pocket from an envelope I made a little journaling card with pretty butterflies and this is the end of the second signature and the third signature there's another envelope a window envelope and i made this pretty um, card journaling card and another pocket here with another journaling card. They're all stitched around. I use it. All of them are decorated. All of them I use it for vintage book pages and scrapbook paper, tea dyed paper, and they are all stitched. So, oh, not all of them. Most of them are stitched. If I thought it will do not fit on the envelope, then I didn't stitch. But most are. This is, oh, this is one page from the original book, from the book that I used for the cover. This is one page from the book. And this is um, a pocket from the children's encyclopedia, the vintage children's encyclopedia. I thought it was cute, this image. And I am adding this journaling card. And here is a pocket, butterflies, and I made a tall journaling card. Here is a kind of vintage page from um, school log, and here from um, a book about plants and mushrooms page for you to write, um, little page, flower book, I made the little tail here that I sew, I stitch it, and here is from the children encyclopedia, this is a tiny book that I have about pond life, this is the first book of a vintage, I think it's 1952 book that I have um, about animals and plants and I thought it will match perfectly here so I made a little stuck spot with a little card um, a page from a book and I tea dyed using I think some kind of berry tea that I got this shade of blue here is another charm with a little leaf the bird book page and here is the center of the signature the bird book page here I added some fabric some vintage fabric on the side, the tea dyed paper, um, little decoration I made, the other side of the, the book, first page, I love this, so 
vintage you can see sometimes you can't see that's vintage but this you can the little poem book children encyclopedia the flower book there is some tab tabs fabric tabs are made page for you to write mushroom page the school log page here it's a pocket i made using a beautiful image from a bird book and i'm adding some stamps um, stamped paper for you so you can decorate it if you want here it's a, it's a page from um, Insect Encyclopedia. It's so beautiful. I made a card, journaling card, and I made a pocket. So you can store things here. The page from this book. Here is, I just made a little vellum pocket. But I didn't want to put anything because it's so pretty. But you can you can use it. And the end of the third signature, and this is the last signature. And another page with uh, two dotted eyelids. Here is a flip. Um, I'm using I use it napkins and made some collages and there is a pocket it's all using napkins I made a collage label some coupons um, not coupons uh, tickets this is a little stamp um, the back you can bring over here and I made a little collage using a piece of Edith Holden book and I made a little um, one of my little um, hand sewed pieces stamped piece of fabric embellishment a little tab here another little embellishment that I made using a, a page of book and vintage fabric some lace and cheesecloth here is um, duck spot and here it's a tiny envelope i made vellum envelope and there are those cut out pieces and i will include this inside so you can use it it uses a french book page also i reinforced it with washi tape this is just a pocket i made um, from uh, the calli another calligraphy book page and i just added a little piece of ephemera that I printed on two dyed paper. Here it's um, another flower book page, and I um, added this little flower charm. I hope you can see. And the back, I used the vintage tape, and this is um, the green paper. It's the first page from the other edit holding book that I use it. I use it too. And this is um, the first page from the other one. This is the little poem book. This is um, a gazebo book. And there was also some pages that um, tells you how to do a birdhouse. And I added here, I thought it was cute. And I used the bird page as, as the center of this signature because I love the images. I think they're so cute. 
here it's a lace pocket and the little book page the children's encyclopedia the flower book calligraphy book the french book this is a tea dyed paper that I use it a piece of the front of the book, the same fabric. But here I, I didn't do anything for the fabric and for the cover, I distressed the fabric. So it looks more vintage than here. Here is a collage I, that I made. So I printed the page from my collage and I use it here. Here's a little tuck spot with a stamp that I got it in a Happy Meal, I think. Um, this is the first page from the Edith, Edith Holden book. Flower page. Uh, this is a piece from another. It looks like a stamp, but it's not. It's actually a um, piece of a uh, vintage book that I have, garden book. A little decoration um, another page from the rose book and on the last page I made one of my opening and close things that I like to make so open like this you can actually zoom in here there is a long tag here journaling card, I guess. Another one here. Beautiful image of a bird. And a little one here. And a beautiful image. Then you close it. And this is the end of the fourth signature. And here is another um, envelope, another pocket for you. That you can store something that's not too bulky here in the back. And I decorated with the vintage lace. So this is my journal. The first page opens perfectly flat. The, I mean, the front cover. The back doesn't open perfectly flat because when I let it dry, after gluing, I let it dry on a weird position so it doesn't open very good. I guess now it's better. <laughs> but I guess from opening and closing, it's last stiff so this is my new nature journal and um, i just wanted to share with you guys and thank you so much for watching i hope you guys like it thank you so much bye